All right, well, a vaccine would not be possible without the volunteers who participate in the clinical trials. Volunteers like a father and daughter from Calabasas. Reporter Annabelle Munoz from our Los Angeles affiliate station has the story. When the pandemic hit, many wondered how they could help. This father-daughter duo accepted a unique opportunity, participating in a Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine trial. Most people are shocked. You're like, you did what? <laughs> the opportunity to participate in this little medical moment um, was in the small way that I could was so inspiring and worthwhile. It took some convincing, but Kirsten's parents approved. Her dad, the Las Virginis Unified School District Superintendent, started the process first. You have to lead from the front. It's not comfortable in the front, you know, you may or may not want to be there, but that's where you have to lead from. And I want kids back in schools and I want kids and families in the community safe. Dan Stepanowski is also a colon cancer survivor. Following his treatment is part of what fueled the now high school junior's passion for medicine. And that was my first introduction to robotic surgery. And um, I so I went home and I watched all these videos on robotic surgery and I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is something I really, really want to learn more about. Going into a vaccine trial is stepping into the unknown. For them, it's a 26 month process. They're being monitored and don't know with certainty if they received the vaccine or the placebo. For about five days after my first vaccine, I had some chills and body aches and headaches, um, and it was fine. It wasn't that bad. They're excited. Pfizer is reporting successful results. News came out today that the vaccine's 95% effective. Um, so uh, last week was 90 percent. So 95 is even better. It's exciting and hope their story encourages others. Hopefully going forward, people think about doing it also because this will, you know, hopefully it's our last pandemic for quite some time, but certainly won't be our last challenge. Annabelle Munoz, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.